is the House Ways and Means Committee Chair, Congressman Jason Smith. Congressman, thanks for coming back on the show. It's always good to see you. The president pushed for corporate tax hikes last night. Can you stop those tax hikes? Well, the House, uh, the Republicans control the House of Representatives. Right. We've been stopping bad policies that President Biden has been pushing since Republicans took control of the House. What people need to be reminded, Stuart, is that we are in this economic crisis strictly because of Biden's policies. In his first two years in office, where the Democrats controlled the White House, the House, and Senate, Stuart, they spent more than $10 trillion, which has led to inflation increasing by almost 18% since Joe Biden's taken the oath of office. And that means every American is paying more to put food on their table, clothes on their backs, and gasoline in their cars. He, he talks about this, this tax credit to purchase a home. The reason why mortgage interest rates are the highest they've been in more than two decades is because of Biden's economic policies. So you've got to reverse those policies, which means spend less, tax less. Is that right? It's exactly, and that is why we are spending less now than what we were spending the years before. But we need to do better. We need to have some help over in the United States Senate. It's why I'm advocating for passage of the Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act, because we've went across this country, Stuart. We've heard from small business owners and working families of the issues they're facing. I would encourage Joe Biden to do the same. When was the last time Joe Biden was in a supermarket? Or when was the last time Joe Biden was at a gas station. Do that, you'll see what real Americans are experiencing. But you've got to have Republican control of the Senate and an increased majority in the House to get done what you want to do. You bet, and we, and we will. And we also need to have the White House, so we need to make sure that he has an exit plan when he loses in November. The president defended his record on the economy last night. In fact, he called it the quote, he called the quote, envy of the world. That's what he said our economy is, the envy of the world. What do you think to that claim, Congressman? I would say if any Biden is moving their lips, there needs to be fact checks. And what he said right there is completely wrong. Inflation's gone up almost 18 percent since he's token, taken the oath of office. Real wages for Americans has decreased by 4.4 percent since Joe Biden's taken the oath in office. The facts don't add up to what he's trying to sell the American people. And you know what? The American people aren't buying it because they believe that the economy is worse now than it was was four years ago when President Trump was in office. Give me 30 seconds on what you really thought about the speech last night. It was nothing but a political speech, Stuart, without a doubt. I have never known or set in a State of Union speech where I have seen the sitting president attack his main political rival over and over again. What we witnessed last night was unprecedented, Stuart. But he did get it, make it all the way through. Uh, I'm saying that that's one of his accomplishments, if not the big accomplishments last night. He made it all the way through. Last word to you. Stuart, it's a really sad day whenever you just hope that your president can stand upright and talk without mumbling too much. That is really sad for our country. Yeah, it was kind of a low bar. Congressman, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks very much for being here. Appreciate it, sir. Thank Great you.